I'm Madu from the Mini Vs, and I'm sure you're all wondering where Nivy is. Well, it is because I'm doing this video for a talk at school. Well, let's just dive right into it. We've already seen about air pollution and water pollution. This is an addition to that series. Today I'm going to be talking about land pollution. Land pollution is a serious problem that impacts humans and animals and the earth. Without dealing with it now to reduce pollution levels, permanent changes to the land can occur. The effects to the environment due to land pollution are subtle, but the problem is much bigger than it appears. Most, even though most people have a good understanding of pollution, they may not realize the significance of land pollution. Here is a quick intro on what's land pollution, the causes and effects, and solutions to the problem. What is land pollution? Land pollution is the deposition of liquid waste and solid materials that are on land or underground that can pollute the soil and groundwater, threaten public health, and cause really awful conditions and diseases. The waste materials that are causing land pollution are called municipal solid waste, or the MSW. MSW includes a lot of garbage, rubbish, trash from our homes, and also institutions. Garbage contains moist and decomposable food scraps like meat and vegetable. Rubbish mostly has dry materials like paper, glass, plastic objects, and textiles. Trash is made up of bulky materials that are often not picked up, are CND waste and debris. What is CND waste? CND stands for construction and demolition. It is usually made up of concrete, glass, wood, metals, and savaged building components. CND has debris that is from construction, demolition, and renovation. There are six causes of land pollution that I know of. Don't worry, I will tell you all of them. Number one, deforestation. A lot of people on Earth tend to cut down trees and for purposes like to build houses and to make stuff out of the wood. And eventually, a whole forest is cut down. In the process, the soil begins to loosen. Without the protection of the trees, the soil begins to die and also it erodes. Number two, agriculture chemical. Part of the farming process almost always includes pesticides and insecticides to defend crops. However, the chemicals can be harmful to the land. The once lush soil is now more of a prey to the wind and other environmental elements. Industrialization. The industrial revolution may have had some positive changes, which I'm not saying is bad, but it also led to some pollution, which is the one thing we don't want. There are a lot of unsafe disposable practices used in manufacturing, poor regulation, and an enormous number of industries that are polluting the land. Industrialization is one of the main causes of pollution. Number four, mining. Mining can lead to a lot of holes and then the land would start caving in. There are also a lot of harmful chemicals like uranium being disturbed and they are released into the environment. Number five, landfills. Garbage contains a load of toxins and when it rains, it floats away into other areas. Pollution spreads that way. 
As the population grows, the amount of garbage in water bodies also grows. We already have a video on water pollution you can check out. I will leave a link of that in the description box below. Number six, human sewage. Human wastes that are just lying on the ground uh, can affect the land and the soil. They can produce a lot of toxic gases that can travel into the ground. Air pollution can cause serious consequences, like the land can get infected. The chance of human illnesses will also increase. We already have a video on air pollution. If you haven't watched it already, be sure to watch that. I will leave the link of that video in the description box below too. Effects of land pollution. The effect of land pollution has a lot of catastrophic consequences for water, soil and animals, including these important ones. Number one, groundwater poisoning. If the chemicals were inappropriately scattered on the land, they could be in groundwater in a matter of time. It's called leaching. It can happen in a lot of different places, including farms, industrial sites, and landfills. Number two, water nutrient enrichment. Chemicals such as nitrogen are often used in farms and only a few help the crops grow. That's probably why they take so long to grow. The other stuff ends up in places that have algae, fish and other living things. The nutrient heavy water just sucks up all of the oxygen in the water and that leaves a really little portion of air for them to breathe. The water won't be able to do anything for any life forms. Number three, loss of topsoil. As chemicals, pesticides and fertilizers are used to sustain crops, the topsoil transforms. The soil is more disposed and it begins to erode. Number four, shifting habitat. As deforestation and soil erosion increase, animals are forced to find shelter and food somewhere else. Some find it as a really traumatic experience and that has led to the death of animals. Now there is also a chance of extinction in some species of animals. Number five, increased risk of wildfires. The dry ingredients that eventually produce in the soil make a great place for wildfires to come and play, just like the one we had last year. The fires will get bigger and bigger because of the wide space of land that is polluted. Effects of land pollution on us. The effects of land pollution are not only on animals and the land, but also us. They can affect us in health and life. Some of them include birth defects, breathing disorders, skin diseases, and cancer. Most of these grow after contact with waste from water poisoning and soil contamination. Land pollution has also been linked to development deficits in children. Chemicals that are commonly found in contaminated soil and water, such as lead, can impact a child's mental development even if the exposure is very low. Solutions to the problem The first and foremost thing that we can do to prevent land pollution is conservation. Conservation focuses on preserving natural resources, such as soil and plants. For instance, leaving some of the trees in a forest to die and decay. This not only leaves the cover needed for the soil and vegetation, but it helps to provide the nutrients for the soil needs to remain fertile. Other solutions include proper waste disposal that focuses on treating waste and disposing it in the safest manner possible. Reusing materials to reduce the need for harvesting of resources. Products that are not reusable can likely
quickly be recycled. Reducing the usage of non-biodegradable materials such as plastic shopping bags, the simple act of switching to a reusable cloth bag for groceries can help cut down the need for non-biodegradable materials. Organic gardening can reduce the usage of pesticides and insecticides. Non-gardeners can help by buying organic food. The negative consequences of land pollution can be greatly reduced with the cooperation of everyone. By making a conscious effort to contribute to a safer environment, the health and well-being of all can be protected. Hope you all learned something about land pollution today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you want to watch more of our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Bye!